Hey guys, Dennis here with Initial Ascent. I'm going to uh, discuss my late season mule deer hunting apparel. So basically my layering system um, that I'm going to have with me. Now, um, we'll just start with the base layer. So I've got these First Light boxer briefs. They don't even make these anymore. Um, I forget what they're called, but they don't, they don't even have them on the website anymore. But I've had them for years and uh, just... I've worn them for years. They just lasted, and and they're they're a really good piece for me. Just come down right right above my knee. They don't bunch, and so I really like those uh, for a pair of wear. Um, I am going to bring the long johns, as I would call them in the South, um, from First Light. They don't make these anymore either, but uh, they're kind of a mid-weight uh, insulated base layer. So I don't know if I'm gonna wear this or not. It's just gonna depend, but the weather's calling for snow. Um, it's also calling for uh, pretty low temperatures. So 20, 20s for highs in the day, low 20s, and then getting down to uh, 10, 11, maybe even single digits. Uh, and that's without a windshield. So. Uh, I just want to be ready, so I'll have these with me just in case. Now, um, sock-wise, I'm going to be taking these First Light socks. These actually go all the way up to just below my knee. Uh, they fit my calf really well. They don't tend to drop down, uh, and they, they kind of hold right above my calf pretty well. So I'm going to actually take three pairs of those, and then I've got a uh, liner sock. These are Kinetrek liner socks that uh, I'll be wearing every day as well. So um, with that being said, uh, another bottom layer that I'm gonna take, my Peaks Gators. Um, these are the Storm Castle Gators. I just don't go anywhere without them. So those, those are awesome. So now pants. These are the Dalibor pants from Cryptek. So they're a little bit more of a uh, mid-weight style synthetic pant. They fit me really well, and I just, I really like uh, the stretch. I do have a place for, for knee pads, so I've actually stuck a couple of knee pads in there uh, as well because I really like that function. I have the Jupiter rain pant from Cryptek as well, and so that, uh, that will be that rain uh, and wet weather protection. Let's see, more pants. The Sentinel pant uh, is, is the puffy layer pant from Cryptek. And I really like these. These are our synthetic insulation layer. And they've got uh, the synthetic material waterproof on both the seat and uh, on the knees as well. Really like these, these pants for puffy style pants. Okay, probably the most important part of my outerwear um, it, are these boots. So this year I'm running the crispy brick stalls. They uh, come with 200 grams of insulation. And uh, I think these boots are going to serve me uh, perfectly on this particular late season hunt. Mid-layer. So I'm going to bring the uh, Kronos hoodie from Cryptek. It's kind of a waffle insulation design grid fleece if you will and I, I really like that piece one piece that I left out that I'm going to use for a base layer top and this is the uh, I think it's the 260 uh, gram merino hoodie from first light so this this is going to be next to skin layer um, I really really like this piece and I'll just basically have this on no matter what. So the next thing, this is gonna be a mid or outer layer uh, for me. It's actually the jacket that I'm wearing just in a little bit different color. This is a wool jacket. It being wool, it has all of those great qualities. It's very, very comfortable. So I can use it as an active layer or I can use it as a, as a nice warm layer while I'm just sitting there. When it's soaked, it still retains like 80% of its, uh, its warmth there. So really pulls the, the moisture away from the skin. And I just, I really like that, uh, that piece as a mid or an outer layer. I am bringing First Light 
uh, merino vest. So just in case, uh, just in case I need that, um, an extra layer on my chest, that'll go over uh, this this jacket, this cool jacket that I'm wearing. So uh, if I if if I need that uh, just to keep my core warm, I'll do that. Okay. The next thing would be the the uh, rain jacket is the Jupiter rain jacket from Cryptek. That's that's a good piece that uh, will keep the elements off of me. As far as an insulation layer, I'm going to use uh, this Puffy from uh, Black Ovis. So it weighs about 11 ounces and uh, it's just really warm. So I think with my layering system, this 800 downfill jacket, I'll, I'll be just right. Okay, the next thing, just some, some odds and ends. So the first light, it's, it's just basically a neck gaiter. It does come over into a hood. Um, I forget what that's, what that's called, but I've used it for years. I've got, uh, got a beanie. And then I've got the Dalibor gloves from Cryptek. And this glove they don't even make anymore. Um, I can't find it on their website, but it, uh, it's a shell type glove, waterproof, windproof. Um, it's got it's got the the leather on it, and I think this is going to be an awesome glove. I just picked that up, so uh, I'm really interested in trying that. So that'll be kind of my glove system. So if you have any questions at all, or if you have any suggestions about stuff that you like to bring um, insulation wise or layering wise, uh, feel free to leave the, those uh, comments down there and uh, we'll get back to as many questions as we can and uh, good luck the rest of the season.